So, hi guys. So, I want to try something a bit different for this video and to do a commentary video. As a bit of a disclaimer, I'm recording this after the fights have happened just because my setup at the moment doesn't really allow me to do live commentary. If I were to do live commentary, the quality of the audio would be really bad and you'd be hearing like background noise from my TV, and, you know, stuff like that. So, I think it's okay to add commentary after just as long as you put a disclaimer there. So, onto the video. I actually fought this guy about a year ago and back then he just played so cheap you know like spamming phantom fists so I'm not really expecting too much from him but I thought you know what let's just fight and see what happens so as we go into the fights I would say his strategy is really bad but honestly I don't even think he has a strat and as you just saw I perfect blocked his first attack and perfect blocking is going to be a theme of this video because if you read the title you would know that this guy considers perfect blocking to be cheap you just can't make this shit up. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're just mashing L1 to try and hit a perfect block, now that's considered cheap. I've not actually watched these fights since they happened, but I'm fairly sure I wasn't mashing L1 to try and hit a perfect block. And because I know how he played considering we fought before, and I actually was going to make a video with the fights in it, because he did actually message me back then, I'm not really taking him that seriously in this fight. But yeah, the reason I didn't upload the video from like a year ago was because I just cannot find the messages anywhere and that really was the point of that video like I don't know if I deleted them by accident but yeah whatever I just find it funny how he says that I play cheap because I know how to perfect block yet for the most part he's just using phantom fist and you can see he's using quite a few finish busters so in a second I'm going to use super calm out my heart but I'm not going to lock on when I use it the reason for this is because if you use an ultimate attack but you're not locked onto your target then they don't get that like alert notification to say that your opponent is now using an ultimate attack or transforming it can be used for sometimes as a sort of element of surprise Prize and like a trump card but for the most part you're just better off just doing a basic combo i just love how in xenoverse 2 after image will now take one bar of key which also means phantom fist will take one bar of key probably two considering how overpowered it is so that means what this guy is doing just won't be possible in xenoverse 2 well i mean he could still do it but you'll just be wasting all of your key by doing it and it's just honestly not worth it. So you can see there, I broke his stamina by perfect blocking twice again. And considering how low his health is, I could just honestly end it at any point by using another super combo up now, just for the giggles, honestly. But I will give him credit for using that right javelin there. I was not expecting it at all, so fair play. But because it worked once, he thinks it's going to work for a second time and a third time. And if you pause, you'll see that he tried to use it for a fourth time, but I just end up finishing him there. He did take quite a lot of damage off me but honestly I wasn't really taking him that seriously but I do in the next fight so almost straight away I pull off another perfect block and of course he uses phantom fist again and I could just tell he was going to use a grab so I just jump out the way again another phantom fist and another one <laughs> it's just so bad because when you're using phantom fist you also can't deal out any damage and you can see now he's trying to use god breaker and at this point all I really need to do is just get him in one combo and he'll be done for. I do think it does kind of a cool combo here with Crusher Ball and Double Sunday, but from here the fight's pretty much in my favour. I'm pretty sure I know when he's going to use Phantom Fist at this point, so I'll just time it so I hit him when his cycle ends. Then I go for the Solar Flare so he doesn't get a chance to use Phantom Fist yet again. And from here he doesn't really have enough stamina to get free of my combo so it's my game at this point like he's lost i had a feeling he was going to try and vanish behind me so i prepare for that and i've got plenty of stamina left to just finish him off then moving on to the next fight i hit two perfect blocks off from the very beginning which must have been very frustrating for him and then as i jump up i hit a third perfect block and i've noticed that he'll do something which i call panic vanishing which basically means you'll vanish when you really don't have to then i hit him with a key blast cannon just to send him flying because he's got low stamina then i hit off two more perfect blocks as he dashes towards me then two more as he uses the god of destruction rap attack and in a minute he'll actually disconnect you'll see his character stand still because that's when he actually disconnects and from there nothing really interesting happens because it's just an npc you're fighting at that point point. and now i just want to finish the fight as soon as possible because fighting an npc is just really boring in my opinion and about 20 to 30 seconds later he actually sends me a message 
he messages me saying he's going to go onto his main character. So I'm thinking, well, why didn't you go onto your main character to start off with, or after the first fight or the second fight where I beat you? I mean, I don't know, it just feels like an excuse. So then I made a private lobby and sent him an invite. Pretty much the same thing happens, but this time he uses the Super Saiyan Blue Goku Z Soul, so I go for a quick stamina reset. Then as I go to check out which attacks he has, he's got absolute zero and super drain because why not? So really I need to bait him into using his stamina or his evasive by doing a very short basic combos. Oh yeah, and of course he has Evil Rise Strike because just why not? And I'll get a few more perfect blocks off, including perfect blocking his Evil Rise Strike. And then he goes for a quick grab, which I didn't expect for some reason. Then he uses Thunder Eraser. Then I use Angry Shell just to make sure he wouldn't be able to use Super Drain. Then he uses another Evil Rise Strike, which just completely misses. Um, slightly off topic, but this is going to be one of the final Xenoverse 1 videos I release. Tomorrow there will be an Ultimate Tenkaichi video, and of course on Saturday, that's when the Xenoverse 2 closed beta opens. So expect a lot of Xenoverse 2 beta videos until Xenoverse 2 is actually released. But I still do have a few Xenoverse 1 videos to go up, which includes the finale video, and I may release a video of the fights which I have but just never released. If I do release the videos that I haven't released yet, that video could be around two hours long so let me know in the comments if you guys actually want to see that. So back to the video I can see what he's trying to do here. He's trying to use Thunder Eraser to blind me and then Super Drain to drain my stamina and he actually kind of pulls that off in a minute. First he goes for another quick grab, yes another grab and any second now he'll go for another Thunder Eraser but I actually pull off a perfect block on it but again he tries Super Drain which he actually pulls off and I've just noticed that for this fight he actually doesn't have Phantom Fist but he's changed it for after image for whatever reason and I can start to see some of the patterns he has so I can just predict when he's going to hit me and try and perfect block it. Nothing really that interesting happens for the next few seconds, he just throws me I think. Yeah he tries to throw me there but I evade it and I think he goes for another throw any second. Yeah, there we go. And in a second, he'll use Burning Spin, which I haven't really seen in a very long time, but I go for a quick stamina reset. I really wish that they made Burning Spin, you know, actually good, because outside of it looking like a really cool attack, it's it's so bad. And for some reason here, I dash him, thinking that he's got very low stamina, but you can see he actually uses Absolute Zero. And why he didn't use Super Drain there, I will never know. But that's pretty much this fight done. I'll show one more fight and then I'll get to the messages. He changes his preset in this next fight. He uses Armored Boost as his evasive, which I have no idea why. It's a really bad evasive. Instant Rise is just a much better alternative. And again, I'm not taking him that seriously in this fight, and you'll see in a minute that I actually use Key Blast Cannon just to send him flying. After I send him flying by kicking him, <laughs> Yeah, there we go. And I just stand still to just try and see if I can perfect block him, which I can. And yet again, he goes for another throw, followed by a Pearl Flash, which I didn't expect. Then he tries to use the one inch punch and a little tip for that is if you have after image equipped punch your opponent while they're using the one inch punch then as soon as you hit them use after image and you'll actually evade the attack and they'll be left wide open but you do have to be very quick because i think the time frame for it it's something like less than half a second so here we're just playing an after image game so i just need to wait a few moments after he uses after image so i can really hit him i'm just so happy that in Xenoverse to it takes a bar of key to actually use after image regardless of if it's successful or not it does honestly make me wonder what all of these cheap players will do are they actually going to transfer over to Xenoverse 2 will they stay on Xenoverse 1 I will have to wait and see I guess I have to admit I thought that was a very nice perfect block when he tried to use victory rush and he uses armor boost in a moment and I get a very nice perfect block off there again there we go. So because I've got no stamina left, I'm thinking, well, if I use Solar Flare, I doubt he'll be expecting it, so I use it. But then he uses another Armored Boost, followed by another Victory Rush. And because he brought my stamina, I'm thinking, well, I've already won this match now because I've got a ton of stamina left. And he must be running on them too. In a moment, he'll use another Victory Rush, but that's going to be like his last struggle in this fight. I use Shining Slash, but because this is in our verse 1, it doesn't even hit even though he doesn't move and I really hope that's going to be fixed for Xenoverse 2 but I missed it but it doesn't really matter considering I've got a ton of stamina 
Now you saw the flare and that's the game done. And I believe he sent me a message between the previous fight and that fight, which we'll get to in a second. So he messages me saying good fight, but I play too cheap for him. And then he says I can post it if I want. Alright, so firstly, I do not need your permission. Let's just make that clear from the very start. Then I asked him what he meant when he said that I play too cheap for him because I didn't play cheap. Then he replies by basically saying perfect blocking is cheap and angry shout is cheap even though he used absolute zero and kept fighting me <laughs> oh man then i reply sarcastically by saying right perfect blocking is cheap so then i think it was the day after or two days after i decided to message him again and just ask him how it's cheap and his reply was just piss poor he says i'm cheap because i have a hundred in basic attack and that i do nothing but perfect block because that's obviously something that's very easy to do no i am not being sarcastic lol i then and asked him if he was just trying to troll me and he says that he's not so I guess he's just a very salty player I guess then a few messages later he says that if I post the video then people will see his side of things I uh, um fuck you now then I just finish off by saying <laughs> I'm gay. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments about these types of commentary videos. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.